Hey, what is going on guys? It is me, Quinkin, and welcome back to episode number 7 of my Atletico Madrid career mode. And I wanted to see how the top scores were looking in La Liga. And Adudis and Diawara are tied for first place. They each have 5 goals. Messi's in third with four goals and everybody else uh, is tied with three goals. So Alessio Cerchi is actually around seven or eighth place and uh, he also has three goals. So Alessio Cerchi is actually having a decent season. He is two goals away uh, from tying with Adunis and Diawara. So we need to start scoring more goals. And then I wanted to see how the top assisters were looking too. So we actually have Cristiano Ronaldo in second place. Ivan Chitz is in first place with four assists and Alessio Cerchi is also tied for third with two assists. So Alessio Cerchi is a very good all-around player. He's getting stats everywhere. He's getting good goals, good assists. Uh, the only thing he can't get are clean sheets. But so far so good. Alessio Cerchi is giving Atletico Madrid a good image and uh, I decided to see how clean sheets were looking too and Claudio Bravo is actually leading with four clean sheets and Moya, our goalkeeper, he only has one clean sheet and we've played around seven to eight league games and he barely has one clean sheet. We need to start getting more clean sheets and that is going to start happening in today's episode. And I did make some substitutions. I took out Griezmann, put Mandzukic as my striker and Raul Garcia wanted to start in today's game. So I took out Koke and I put Garcia as our cam and this was going to be our squad for the game versus Espanyol. But this is how we're looking in the league table. We are in third place. We're right behind Getafe and Barcelona who didn't start that well, but they are in first place right now. But we're playing this Tiki Taka style possession. Garcia opens it up to Turan and Turan smashes it into the back of the net. I wanted us to play a different style of football and Espanol is in a good side. So I wanted to experiment how this would do and barely in the eighth minute, the Tiki Taka was working. Garcia gets an assist. Duran with the goal. And things were looking very well for us. We were continuing with the Tiki Taka. Here is Gabi. He opens it wide to Mandzukic. Mandzukic to Duran. And Duran centers it in. But no one was there to head the ball in. And Espanol is a very timid side. They aren't that well. And they are in 12th place. So, you know... This, is, this was going to be a very good game to see how Tiki Taka would work and Gabi had to intervene into this play because he knew that they were going to score. He came in with the slide tackle and as bad as that looked, we only got a yellow card and Robbie Keane was going to go up to take the free kick and it just goes over the crossbar. Yes, Robbie Keane is playing for Espanol. They have a good striker up front. Going into the second half, a beautiful pass to Juan from to Serchi. Serchi with the dribbling. He leaves it for Gabi and Gabi somehow misses and he gets another opportunity with great passing and he also misses that shot and I had to take him out because he had a yellow card and he was getting tired so I put in Mario Suarez in his place a perfect replacement and we had a corner kick Serchi goes up to take it Goldin is there with the header and he pulled off some Cristiano Ronaldo like magic right here. This header was so insane and Serchi's ball was so perfect. There was nothing that Espanol could do. This header was at least, I would have to say, 10 feet away and he put it in back of the net. So great job, Goldin. Props to you. We were up 2 0 and the Tiki Taka was working so far. And I had to take out Duran during the game because I wanted to rest him because I want him to play versus. Byron Leverkusen in the Champions League so I took him out and I put in Antoine Griezmann and Griezmann played it very well in today's game but Moya saves us from conceding a goal and thank god he did that because we will go on to get the clean sheet and Serchi makes it 3-0 it's not a perfect game without Serchi getting his goal so Serchi was the man of the match he played so freaking well he got an assist a goal and we won the game 3-0 we kept the clean sheet and things are looking very well for Atletico Madrid and these were the match facts for today's game. We completely dominated this game. We had four shots, three on target with 66% possession. Yes, you heard right. 66% possession leaving Espanol only with 34% possession and two shots. We completely dominated them and we had to get prepared for this game versus Bayern Leverkusen but Alessio Cerchi was a man of the match in the previous game and he got an 8.5 match rating giving one assist and scoring one goal and he has 12 appearances, 5 goals, 3 assists so he's having a tremendous season and he was going to be vital in this game versus Bayern Leverkusen. We are in second place 
and Bayern Leverkusen is in last place with one point and this was the squad that I brought on to take with us versus Bayern Leverkusen. We're going to have a 4-3-3 and I was going to put Turan to play but Griezmann played so well so I put in Griezmann with Jimenez and Serchi on the right. The midfield consists of Koke, Fernando and Gabi and the defense have Alexandro Congolo who came in for Diego Godin, Miranda, Jesus Gomez and Yano Block as our goalkeeper and the thing I love about this 4-3-3 is that our players are getting used to it and we're playing so well with the 4-3-3. Barla Leverkusen have a great side of themselves. They have a 4-2-3-1 with Kiesling up front. They got Robbie Kruse, a great Turkish player as their cam and this game was going to be very intense and it was going to show me how good Alessio Serci was against the greatest clubs in the world. But here is Alexandro, a beautiful pass to Serci and Serci with the control. He calms down, he chills and he's like, wait, I'm going to score this goal. And that is his second goal in the Champions League. And that was a very, very early lead. And this was the turning point of the game. The Turkish player gets a red card. And Gabi, that was a very, very hard tackle. So he comes out of the game in the 21st minute. And that was going to give us advantage. Here's Griezmann with the control. Gives it to Jimenez. Jimenez controls it. He shoots it. And it was going to be a goal. But Jimenez was just offside. Barrel Leverkusen used that to their advantage and they attacked and Yano Block with such an incredible save. I don't know how the hell he did that. He saved us and he's keeping the clean sheet so far. Here's Sechi. Beautiful pace on the wing. He centers it. Deflects off the defenders. Doesn't go in. No. He menaced was there but Burn Leno, a very good young goalkeeper also gets there in time and we were going to go into the second half winning 1-0 but I had to switch a formation to a 4-4-2 with two defensive mids and our two strikers were going to be Raul Jimenez and Sergi and the 4-4-2 is something that I really love to use but it didn't allow us to attack a lot so hopefully we did defend well but Sergi does get injured and he is going to be out for three months yes our best player is out for three months and I had to put in Anthony Marshall because he is a striker that I brought with us and as soon as I made that substitution I know that things were going to go downhill. Bel Arabi comes in as a sub and he scores the tying goal. I don't know what our defense was doing. That is I think his second goal in the Champions League but Jesus Christ what was our defense doing? Our squad just the motivation went down and Marshall really wanted to help things out so he does get taken down in the box and I wanted Raul Jimenez to take the penalty because he hasn't scored a goal for us yet and this was going to symbolize so much and it was going to mean a lot for him so we put him to take the penalty and he does score a beautiful penalty the goal is just left standing there and we are winning the game 2-1 a very important goal from Raul Jimenez a great penalty and here's Goke, he centers it in to Jimenez and Jimenez, what are you doing? He could have scored and made it 3-1, but he shot it right at the goalkeeper. Brown Leverkusen, although they did have 10 men, they still had some good chances and that was their last opportunity to score. One of the clearest ones and it just they just couldn't score a goal and we did take out Griezmann and put in Duran who is a more defensive player that can dribble better than him. So we put him in and Raul Jimenez had one more chance and it just went wide. Yes! Jimenez is getting better and better on our team. He's getting great chances and we do win the game versus Brian Leverkusen 2-1. One of the hardest games ever in my career. That was one of the hardest games. A lot of switches and the board is very happy with our performances. We are doing so well. We're like second place in the league and we are doing so well in the Champions Cup but the reason that Serchi is out is because of a broken ankle so he's going to be out for three months. We put Mandzukic as the starting striker and we put Aquino on the bench and we took out Serchi. That is going to be a very very hard loss for us and this is how we're doing in the Champions League. We are in first place. Yes, we are in first place. We finally made it to first place once again. And Roma is in second. They beat Sporting and Sporting is in third with four points. Bayern Leverkusen, it's very hard for them now because they only have one point. They have two more games to play and things are looking very hard for them as well because they have one point. Their goal difference is negative too. So they really have to start scoring more goals, they have to start winning games if they want to get into the next stage of the Champions League. So hopefully our squad gets motivated, hopefully the young players come up and help out the squad. But that is pretty much it. If you guys did enjoy this video, remember to leave a like and a comment. Our videos are doing so well, so please show your support, keep showing it, and I love all you guys. I'm Quinkin, and I'll see you guys next time.
If you guys made it to the end of this video, don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Quinkin. If you want to ask me some questions, go ahead and follow me and I will reply to you as fast as possible. Also, if you're new, subscribe. I take out quality FIFA 15 content and if you missed the previous video, I will leave an annotation to that on the screen. Go ahead and do that right now.